Alright guys, it's Spikers from Spikers Does Pokemon here, and I just came across something absolutely amazing on the internet. It came across my feed, and it actually blew my mind. Um, there was some art that I found, and all credit goes to Frame Wars. I'm going to put a link to their Facebook page in the description down below. Um, their their whole, I guess, goal or or theme is that they um, mechanize different objects, kind of thing. And they actually went and did um, six or seven different Pokemon, and they are so well done that it absolutely blew my friggin' mind. I can't believe the quality and how it looks. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna and it 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 impressed me so much that I'm going to make a little video of it here just to show you what it looks like and I think you'll all agree it looks absolutely amazing. They're a little on the dark side of things, but not so much that they're they're scary. They actually keep to the original, um, I, I would call it spirit kind of thing, of the original Pokemon. And, like I said, it, it, it's amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. Check it out. Alright guys, the first one that comes up right now is the Hybrid Blastoise. As you can see here, it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, it might be too small to actually read it, but I'll read the uh, text that accompanies this to you. It says, Blastoise is a large bipedal tortoise-like Pokemon. Its body is dark blue and is mostly hidden by its tough brown shell. This shell has a pale yellow underside and a white ridge encircling its arms and separating the upper and lower halves. Two powerful water cannons reside in the top of its shell. These cannons can be extended or withdrawn and can be used to assist in high-speed charges. Blastoise's head has a triangular ears that are black on the insides and small brown eyes and a cream-colored lower jaw. Its arms are thick and st striated with three claws on each hand. Its feet have three claws on the front and one on the back, and it has a stubby tail. The powerful cannons on this Pokemon are capable of producing water blasts that can pierce steel and concrete. Blastoise deliberately makes itself heavy to withstand these powerful blasts and it will crush its opponents with its bulk. The hybrid Blastoise is bigger in size and developed terranium armor and shell. The twin hydro cannons are enhanced to fire different variations of pressurized water attacks. That's awesome and you can see how much difference there is between the size of a human and Blastoise. Alright, and up next we have the big behemoth Charizard. Charizard is a draconic bipedal Pokemon. It's primarily orange with a cream underside with the chest to the, or from the chest to the tip of its tail, which burns with a sizable flame. Charizard has a long neck, small blue eyes, raised nostrils, and two blunt horns protruding from the back of its rectangular head. There are two fangs visible in the upper jaw when its mouth is closed. Two large wings with teal undersides sprout from its back and horn-like appendages jut out from its third joint on each wing. Charizard's name or Charizard's arms are short and are skinny compared to its robust belly, and each limb has three white claws. It has stocky legs and cream-colored soles under its feet. This Pokemon flies in search of powerful opponents to battle, and its fire will burn hotter as it gains experience. Its fiery breath is capable of melting boulders, massive glaciers, and has been known to accidentally cause forest fires. Charizard typically in, in habitat, or in hit, inhabit mountains and valleys. The hybrid Charizard is bigger in size and developed a slimmer body with sophisticated terra terranium armor. Its signature steel wing attack improved significantly, dealing fatal damages and capable of slicing buildings into half. Alright, now we have the hybrid Gyarados. Gyarados is a serpentine Chinese dragon-like Pokemon. It is mostly blue with a yellow underbelly and yellow spots along its body. 
It has three pointed dark blue crest on its head and four white dorsal fins. Its mouth is very large and gaping, bearing four canine teeth. It has one barbell on each side of its face. The barbells are white on the female side and the same color as the main body on the male. Gyarados's tail fin is similar in structure to the crest on its head except with a thin white fin spread between the points. Its fangs can crush stone and its scales are harder than steel. Gyarados is infamously known for its fierce temper and wanton destructive tendencies and is attracted to violence. In addition, Gyarados is also notoriously difficult to tame even after it's captured by the trainer, usually requiring an exceptional amount of work in taming it until it can obey its trainer. Gyarados usually lives in large bodies of water, such as lakes and ponds, or even seas and oceans. Hybrid Gyarados is bigger in size and developed terrarium armor with cutting edge fins, turning its entire body into a deadly weapon. Its infamous hyperbeam is so greatly intensified that it can destroy an entire island with a single blast. Up next is the hybrid Lapras. Lapras is a large sea creature that resembles a plesio plesiosaur. It has a spotted blue hide with a cream underside. Its neck is long and it has large black eyes. There is a short horn in the middle of its forehead and curled ears placed further back on its head. Instead of legs, it has four flippers with the foremost pair being larger than the hind. On its back is a heavy gray shell covered in blunt knobs. Lapras is a gentle, helpful Pokemon that enjoys ferrying people across bodies of water. However, this docility has made it an easy target for hunters who have nearly driven it to extinction. An intelligent Pokemon, it is able to understand human speech. It has been known to travel the seas in large pods. To keep in touch with other of its kind, it sings enchanting melodies. In the anime, it was shown that Lapras is able to develop psychic abilities such as telepathy. Lapras is native to the seas. The hybrid Lapras developed terranium armor and is relatively bigger in size. Its flippers are akin to deadly blades capable of slicing ships into halves. Huge shrapnel begins to emerge from the gray shell protecting both itself and its passengers. Hybrid Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a Pokemon created by science. It's a bipedal humanoid creature with some feline features. It is primarily grey with a long purple tail. On top of its heads are two short blunt horns and it has purple eyes. A tube extends from the back of its skull to the top of its spine, bypassing its neck. It has defined chest and shoulders which resemble a breastplate. Mewtwo was created after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experience, experiments based on Mew. It is said to have the most savage heart among all Pokemon. It lacks compassion and strikes fear into its enemy with cold, glowing eyes. Because it was engineered to be the ultimate in battle, it can only think of defeating its foes. Mewtwo exemplified these vicious characteristics and was shown to be, shown to be capable of levitation, telepathy, and mind control. However, it was later shown to be caring, protective, and even altruistic. It is capable of materializing psychic waves in the form of its signature move, Psy Strike. The hybrid Mewtwo developed terranium armor and is relatively bigger in size. The floating ring plates are used for psych physical attack and defense when activated using psychic waves. They form a protective portal ring to enhance any psychic attacks they pass through, dealing far greater damage. Venusaur is a squat quadruped Pokemon with bumpy blue-green skin. It has small circular red eyes, a short blunt snout and wide mouth with two pointed teeth in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. On top of its head are small pointed ears with reddish pink insides. It has three clawed toes on each foot. The butt on its back has bloomed into a large pink white spotted flower. The flower is supported by a thick brown trunks surrounded by green fronds. A female Venusaur will also will have a seed in the center of its flower. Venusaur uses its flower to catch the sun's rays to convert them into energy, which causes the flower to take on colors that are more vibrant. The flower releases a soothing scent that attracts Pokemon. The scent becomes stronger after a rainy day. The hybrid Venusaur is bigger in size and developed terranium armor with spikes. The vine whips and flowers are both enhanced into deadly mid-ranged and long-ranged weapons. Alright, you guys knew I was going to save the best for last. 
Snorax is a huge bipedal dark green or dark blue green Pokemon with a cream colored face, belly, and feet. Its body is composed of mostly its belly where most of its fat reserves accumulate. Its head is large with small pointed ears and two pointed teeth protruding down from its lower jaw. It has a large it has large hind feet with three claws and a circular brown paw pad, and its arms and five foreclaws are short. Snorlax is often found in the mountains and forests. It wakes up only to eat and seldom for exercise. It is not a picky eater, as its strong stomach allows it to eat even moldy food without feeling any ill effects. When hungry, it is not satisfied until it consumes 900 pounds or 400 kilograms of food. Snorlax is docile enough to let children and small Pokemon bounce on its large stomach. The hybrid Snorlax is massive and developed terranium armor. It can level down cities with pure physical attacks alone. Man, that Snorlax, Snorlax looks so mean. And look at the size difference between the Snorlax and the human shadow there as comparison. I mean, he looks mean. He also looks really frigging awesome. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these as much as I enjoyed sharing them with you. And like I said, a huge, huge shout out to Frame Wars. Um, like I say, I'm going to put a their link to their Facebook page in the description of the video. This was absolutely amazing and I'm glad that I got to share it with you guys. Alright, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this and battle on.